What happened when they found out we tried to unionize is they brought a few people from out of state, out of town. They start taking people one by one, talking to them, telling them about the union, bashing the union, saying that they're bad, they're not good people, they're just trying to trick us, they follow us. It's like you're walking on eggshells around the store. They're right there, they're listening. You can't talk, you can't work, you can't nothing. It's so uncomfortable. So I've been organizing with the union for about eight years now, and this is definitely the most aggressive anti-union campaign I've seen. So the workers at the Connecticut Dollar General contacted us um, because they were having issues and concerns that they were bringing forward to corporate and corporate was not answering those issues and concerns. Dollar General is my main source of income. Um, yes, I have another job, but that's just a part-time job. I am working about 80 plus hours between both jobs. When I spoke to them regarding my schedule uh, change due to uh, my child, and my other job that I have that I couldn't work nights. And after I spoke to the people regarding the nights, um, they, when they did the schedule the next time, uh, they put me on for a night. Dollar General in comparison to other companies we organized um, definitely has a lot more issues um, in terms of their benefits and just in general the scheduling as well as rate of pay and the store being open for Christmas and Thanksgiving and not getting any holiday pay. We are organizing a union because we feel that we are not being treated fairly. Our pay is not fair. So in order for us to protect ourselves, what do we gotta do? We have to join a union. The only people that would save us is the union. Dollar General has flown in corporate people from Tennessee. Um, they've flown in union busters from all over the country to try and persuade the workers to not um, vote yes for the union. They've been holding captive audience meetings every day since we petitioned on September 20th. They are in the store constantly, just surveilling the, the workers and, and listening to any conversations that may pertain to the union. Can you write a statement for um, us, we need you to write so-and-so that he said so-and-so and that there was customers when there was no customers. Now, that's called a false statement. And it wasn't one person, it was two people, two co-workers were told to do this when nobody heard nothing of a kind. And so he got fired because there was false statements. Dollar General has broken the law by terminating one of our supporters for union activity. Um, we have a charge filed with the National Labor Relations Board that is currently being investigated. We are confident that we're going to be able to get our supporter back to work. They have violated the law by reducing full-time workers' hours and giving the part-time workers 40 hours and the full-time workers less than 40. And we do have a charge filed for that as well. They added a worker to the voting list from another store. That worker that they have added to the list, um, we will be challenging um, her vote on election day because she was recently added to the schedule at Bark Hampstead. What message would I like to send to
to other Dollar General employees with the same thing going on is stand up for yourself, let your voice be heard, do not let these people get to you, bring you down and tell you you can't do this.